We are at the Granada Hills uh, Fall Festival. I don't know what it's called, but it's a, it's a little event they have in Granada Hills. <laughs> We got Hector, we got Panda, and we got Sydney. They are awesome people from the San Fernando Valley. They love helping out the community. They are, they are homies. So I just wanted you guys to meet them real quick. So. Up, First of all, love these guys, uh, not only uh, for their talent, for their musical gifts, but you know, especially now that they're venturing off with American Woman. Come on now. You know, but uh, we're just really happy to be here and uh, share some space with them and uh, just vibe out, you know? So uh, these people, I've, I've, I've recognize that I've been following for a while. They're pretty uh, coming up. They're like, check them out. They're really good. And if you guys want to check out our newsletter at Valley Views SFB, we do post everything you can do in the Valley every month. Hey, she's our editor-in-chief, y'all. Come on now. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> She's always bringing the good vibes. So that's awesome. <laughs> This is our friend Ashley. She helped out with this uh, Granada Hills event. She has something called Vendorverse where she she allows vendors to have a place to sell their products and merchandise. And she, she helps around the San Fernando Valley. She actually helped us get into the knitting factory, which we will talk more about later in this vlog. Just wanted to talk a little more about Hector. He's the host of a radio show, Valley Views, where they get people from the San Fernando Valley to showcase their talents and just to talk about the community really. He knew us from an old band, which is why he said uh, that we're venturing out as American Woman. And uh, I'll leave some links in the description if you want to check them out. We're at a drummer's house. It is Tuesday and you know what that means. It means rehearsal tacos. day. <laughs> Other than tacos, it's rehearsal day. We don't always rehearse on Tuesdays. We rehearse whenever everyone is free. And today just happened to be Tuesday. We are done with practice. This is everyone. Look how happy we are after we finish jamming. We're so happy. I'm tired, bro. Same. We just finished jamming. We got everything, all the songs that we're gonna play for our show on Saturday. And we also got another show Sunday. Catch us at the Offbeat Bar and at the Knitting Factory. Hello, we are at Islands right now. Kenny's birthday. It's right, birthday man. We're just waiting for Francis and we're gonna have a little bit of a meal. Check out. Says colored hair. Whoa! <laughs> Got the bromies. There's Francis. <laughs> oh, yes! 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 <laughs> yes! We're here at the offbeat bar. We it's right, right back now. there. And we're going to the dollar store over here to get some floss because my teeth are killing me.
guys so much for coming out. Actually, yesterday was my birthday, but I'm still celebrating here today and tomorrow. So, if you don't know, I am the bass player for American Woman. Please follow us at American Woman underscore Dan on Instagram. And I just want to thank before the blacklist, you guys are fucking awesome. You guys bring back the early 2000s like, like it's nothing. Yeah. So, yeah. so don't waste no more time. What's up guys? We just came back from the Offbeat Bar Show. Woo! It was, it was a fun, super fun show. Yeah, and all the bands were amazing. Before the Blacklist, Sparkling the Fume. Oh my gosh, they were so American hype. Woman! American Woman! It was awesome. It was so hype. I, we love Before the Blacklist. They're so, they're awesome. They're they so run fun. around on the stage. And, like, and incredibly kind too. They're so kind. Yeah, and yeah. Sparkling the Fume, they're like, they're a two-piece. Yes. They're looking for a bassist, y'all. Yeah. They're a two-piece. And they sound like a full band. They sound amazing. Yeah. Got me Arctic Monkeys vibes. So if you guys like Arctic Monkey, be sure to check them out. We are on the way home because we gotta get some rest because tomorrow you know what's happening. We're playing the Knitting Factory. Factory. It's a proper stage. We've it never played a, a proper, proper stage, stage before. It's an actual nice like proper stage. We have fireworks and everything set up. No, I'm kidding. No, I don't know. Sold out an entire arena. No. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. But yeah, so um, that's where you're gonna catch us next. Out. We are disheveled. We are a little disheveled. Okay, we just woke up. Oh. But it is Sunday morning now, and we are heading. Oh no, we're not heading yet. But mm. we're. It's pretty good. It's very good. Shout out to Yum Yum Donuts for no, supplying we can't our do breakfast. That. Sponsored. No. Um, uh, it is Sunday morning, and we are. We have a show later today. At the Knitting Factory in NoHo. The Knitting Factory in NoHo. This is our first time playing there, and also our first time playing a real stage. Yeah, it is like a nice little proper, a little proper stage. And it's it a has proper stage, aww. Yeah, it's a proper stage. It looks nice, it looks like a really nice venue. It does look like a nice venue. I'm actually a little terrified. <laughs> I mean, we played like kind of a proper stage, well, with an old man actually, but it was like a platform. It's an elevated area. Yeah, but we've played in many elevated areas, but never a stage. That's true. Just a, a big wooden platform doesn't doesn't make a stage. I don't know. I don't know if anyone agrees. I don't know if anyone agrees with that, but... We're gonna have a little bit of breakfast, and then um, work on... We're gonna make Sarah an outfit, because she's gonna be blondie. And then we're just going to... I'm gonna work on. I have a guitar. I got a new guitar. I don't know if I'm gonna include it in this vlog, but I got a new guitar. And uh, oh, I just played it last night for the first time, like live, I guess. And it, it, it like sounded so different from my other guitar. I didn't think it was such a difference, but you know what? My other guitar single coils. The only thing, it hums so much. Like the hum was real bad. But can we just say that Elton and I were fighting for our lives after eating at a restaurant yesterday while we were on stage. <laughs> Yeah, I was dying. I, w I went to the bathroom after. For the first two songs, I was so convinced I was about to like throw up on stage. It was horrible. I was shaking afterwards. It was so bad. For we didn't have the same thing. I wonder what it was. We I mean, we shared fries though. Maybe we our, got like a bad batch. Maybe. Pooper uh, bang. See you guys when we meet up with everyone else. We're at the knitting factory right oh, now. Check out this yeah. sick, <laughs> sick area. Yeah, it's still my and birthday. And it's still his birthday weekend, that's right. And we got donuts. And we have Blondie. American woman meets Blondie. 
And yeah, we're waiting for Francis because he forgot his drumsticks. He left it at the uh, show. Everyone on stage, like lifts up. Oops! Look out! Step up. He left his drumsticks at, at the Aki bar, so. It is the day after the knitting factory. Are you tired? I'm very tired. Are you? I am pretty tired as well. My voice is dead. Yeah. <laughs> but that was that was so much fun. This weekend was awesome. We got to celebrate uh, Kenneth's birthday, and then we got to play those two shows and like meet a bunch of other bands. It was, it was awesome. Do it all again next week. <laughs> yes. So be sure to check us out on Instagram at American Woman underscore Band and. Um, we have a show at the Milk Room at six at seven, and we have another show on Saturday at Maui Sugar Mill at ten forty-five, both times at PM. So see you guys on the next one. <laughs>